All right, so there it is. It's finally out of the garage. It's all super monster truck height. I took the coilovers along, off a long time ago just so it didn't like mess them up from sitting on them. So uh, yeah, I just gonna give her a wash. She's dirty, all that dust. But yeah, now now I'm gonna fucking maybe actually fix it and make it run and stuff again. I might put a 2J in it. But... All right, washed her up. Still monster truck status though. There's like an old like titanium exhaust I got a long time ago. But yeah, it's pretty pretty clean still. From sitting, I got like like a little nick right there, but not too bad. And I still need to. I'm gonna fix all this shit pretty soon. You know, uh, I have that that other coupe. I might just cut all this off of it, and uh, you can see like it. Uh, it buckled right here and right here and uh, this strut tower is like is like pushed over about like a good half inch so all right so I kind of went on a, like a cleaning party so the coops all clean I fucking washed my truck and it's all clean and then I clean my driveway and uh, I also cleaned the uh, the Audi. It's been uh, just kind of chilling, so I probably need to rip this thing. Um, and then now my garage is like, it doesn't have a car in it, so it's like, you could tell how small this little garage is. That was like made, this house was built in the 1900s. Garage was made for like a buggy, like that a horse pulled. So, uh, and then it got like modified. They put like garage door and stuff, all that, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end up cleaning the rest of this uh, stuff out of here. Uh, I want I keeping all my tools together, so I'm taking all my tools to my grandma's house, and uh, then the uh, the coop, and the, I'm gonna pull the Z out of the semi trailer, uh, and they're gonna go into the container, so I have uh, good access to them. So uh, when I need to work on them, I can, I'm gonna pull the Z out and probably start. Uh, doing a lot of the body work and uh, getting the uh, this 370Z transmission all uh, mounted up with the uh, new adapter um, mid section uh, kind of uh, case that I've, I've designed. So I wanna, there's a machine shop, uh, like a shop up from uh, Trevor shop. I'm going to have them do a prototype one, see how it works, um, see if it all bolts up to uh, the automatic tranny uh, bell housing. Uh, I'm gonna do one for the 2J one for the RB, uh, and then you're just gonna, it's gonna be like an auto, auto bell housing, just bolt right up, so you're not bolting off the, uh, like the uh, the 10 mils in that tranny, which is really kind of unsafe. Uh, they're like, there's a dowel pin in there. I've taken them, I've taken one of those trannies apart because I have one uh, with only 25K on it, because I had a 3D scan it, but um, yeah, there's definitely no dowel pins. But uh, yeah, the Audi is, uh, man, uh, I'm just still waiting for the insurance uh, because I kind of I kind of fixed the bumper, but you can see like that headlight washer got busted off too, um, and then it's like all see the lines don't really line up. See how they're kind of in the headlight and shit. So uh, and then on the other side too, the headlight doesn't really see how it's not lined up. So I'm waiting for the insurance to uh, figure out what they're gonna do because they said they're only gonna give me like 250 bucks for a nine thousand dollar car that wasn't wrecked before. That stuff, if you look at my old video, you can see what happened. It was kind of a dick situation. So um, Aaron should be here in a little bit with the trailer. We're gonna load the 240 up and then uh, gonna get in the container to just store for now. Um, having it out in the sun and seeing it again um, in all its glory, even though the front's fucked up, uh, no engine or anything. It still has the, uh, co uh, what was it, Nismo two-way, uh, the Tanabe uh, exhaust that I bought a long time ago. The brakes are bigger than those wheels almost, uh, the inside diameter. I think the front rotors are like 15 inch. Um, uh, they're, they're drilled and veined uh, rotors, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe maybe I'm gonna slap a, like a 2J in there. Maybe, we'll see. I only have one 370Z tranny and I wanna get the Z with the 370Z trans. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that 
Oh no, I was like super zoomed in that whole time. Oh, well you guys are gonna have to deal with it. My bad. Um, so yeah, my coop that I've had for goddamn since like 2000, um, 2000, late 2004, almost 2000, early 2005. Um, yeah, look at that exhaust. I love that fucking exhaust. Uh, you can't even get them anymore, I don't think. But yeah, you can see the, the wires um, redoing that shit a long time ago. Since since I did that last coupe, um, I could simplify that wiring easy. And uh, the LS Coupe is probably the first. I love this car. Man, seeing it in the sun is just like, it is so fucking clean. It took so long to do all the body work and the paint. Uh, so seeing it out, like sitting in the sun is like making me want to like push this to the top because it is uh, like, I've had it for a long time. I love the car. I'm never gonna get rid of it. Like no matter what happens, it's gonna stay. Uh, but uh, it's the furthest one. No, the Z is probably further from completion than that. Uh, so it's like the second, second in line. Um, I need to work on this, this Audi. God damn it, I zoomed in again. So I need to work on this Audi um, to get it like tip top. Uh, I need to work on the Juke uh, because of that, like some shit happened. So I'm gonna, I need to redo the front end on the Juke. Uh, and like the other coupe with the LS1 is, uh, the CNG one is all, like almost ready to drive. All I have to do is the fuel system. So uh, I'm thinking Juke, Audi, um, LS1 coupe, and then I'll probably work in between on this uh, my coupe, my blue coupe right here. Um, you guys all wanted to see all my projects, so here we here we go. I'll probably work on in between that, which won't take too long to uh, get the uh, front end all fixed. Uh, and Trevor's going to be going down to Texas for a drift event, so I might have him pick me up a 2J, uh, 1800 bucks, uh, put a 2J in it. I have an aero bumper for that one. Um, it's the original one I ever bought for $200 shipped from Japan. Now they're like two grand or if you can't even find them. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, not going to cut that bumper up because I don't want to like ruin it. So I'll probably run water to air on a 2J so I could just keep everything clean. Um, put a tuck radiator in and, um, then I'll be kind of switching back and forth. I'll probably do all the, uh, fix all the frame and shit on this car first and the Z is a straight car, so all I really have to do is uh, mock stuff up, so I'll probably get this thing straight, uh, get the bay painted uh, the same color, and uh, get it pretty much 2J in it, and uh, and running is maybe my plan, I'm, I'm still not sure, so um, if you guys have any suggestions, 2J RB, it's gonna be in line six now. Um, I did have a built K and a built SR for it, um, so let's uh, let's uh, leave it up to you guys. Um, 2J, RB, uh, built KA, or uh, built SR, um, all, are, all are probably gonna be around 500 horse. So um, I'm leaning more towards 2J, um, but I, I, I can't get away from the RBs. I, I love RBs, so I'm gonna be doing that. And, uh, and this dude's like creeping on my shit uh, right now. So, you know. <laughs> Fucking cars driving by, god damn it. Alright, so we got the 240 loaded up. Aaron Bry's truck and his new trailer. New, new. Yeah, you, how do you like that thing? It's premium. Yeah, it's, 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 it's work. yeah, I know. It's pretty, it's nice because it's like so low. Like, we didn't even have to like strain ourselves to put it on the trailer. So it's loaded um, and all the shit in the back of his truck. So now we're gonna go off to uh, the, the big, big 40 foot container and stuff this bitch in there. Yeah, so we uh, picked up Aaron's shit from his house and uh, I guess he's gonna, he's gonna paint it the same color as his truck so he matches when he goes and gets all the fucking, the circle track bitches hiring! All those fucking hoes! So uh, yeah, his circle track car that's all like gay now but it'll fucking be premium like that. So we went and picked up Aaron's, um, I don't know, dirt, circle, I don't know, something track car. Um, and uh, like, this is this is what me and Trevor always get ourselves into. We get like a, a project to uh, 
and it just comes with like a box like a bunch of boxes of, of fucking parts um it has like a uh like almost the same same company uh that made jesse's original radiator um it's one of those afcos or whatever and then uh a crate i think a 350 chevy um and pretty much all brand new everything and like this 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 fucking like car that's just like gonna be ripped on and uh there's this old seat he's gonna get rid of that because it's like a, a piece of shit and a bunch of boxes of just like there's like a a fan shroud that you have to like like make but then i like stuck it up in there and the uh the, the steering shit is fucking in the way and then you have to like it kind of looks like you have to i don't know tap like it has like little stuff to uh right there little brackets that you like just like use self-tapping screws in there and i don't know it kind of looks like a pain i might just figure out where that bitch is gonna go and just weld that shit on there something like that i don't fucking know yet because i'm i feel like this is gonna end up being something i'm gonna have to help aaron with because trevor's over here fucking swapping sob to sob because he wants to like rip this all-wheel drive arrow single turbo v6 and he's swapping all the shit off that piece of shit four cylinder one he got that really wasn't too big of a piece of shit it just like had a it was missing a bumper and had a bad tail light so yeah uh, i think i'm gonna get started on this crap uh, and see where i'm at after it's all said and done i feel like it's gonna be like another another jesse project but now it's now it's fucking Aaron so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on that put the car in the container um I have to load some totes up tomorrow as well uh I think after that pretty much uh, my house will be empty uh, there won't be anything left in it so all I'll have to do is uh paint the living room sand paint the living room sand the floors and uh finish the grout in the kitchen I pretty much could just fucking sell that bitch so hopefully that gets sold because i kind of want to build a bigger house um now that like some stuff happened with me and my girlfriend you know i'm not sure what's really going on there but uh, i haven't talked to her in a couple couple days um and i'm not sure if i'm ever going to hear from her again because some, she's like chinese and she went back to china uh, her parents convinced her to do some stuff she said it's her decision so it might have been i don't know uh so yeah Hopefully I hear from her. Uh, I like her a lot. I love her a lot. I was hoping that we'd, like, some stuff would, like, happen further. Like, I don't know, like, a couple months from now when she got back, I was, we were planning on doing some stuff. But uh, now it's kind of all fell through, so. Um. I'm going to get that shit. actually getting pressure air pressure though mm -hmm. not oil pressure because it hasn't reached yet and now it's I mean get it again keep on Aaron, Aaron was like shedding. I wasn't not, shedding. It's I not just... getting up there. We could pour oil on that shit and well, oh. when it starts. Well, once it starts, it'll... yeah. We get his lead up. Once I did a little off. more well, let's, research, let's hook up the jump box to the coil and just fire it up. And... Well, we gotta be able to run it long enough to fucking break, break it in. in. Oh, after the, you have to break it in like the first start. All right, so today, day two of this this fucking thing right yeah. here. Look at look, look what Aaron did with the wires. Look at that shit. Look at it. Well, they gave me like 50 fucking long wires. Look at that. So I really didn't have much of a uh, choice. Just, just touching the exhaust manifold. That's gonna that's gonna be premium. So well, fuck, uh, we can do something with them where they're not fucking 
You're kind of cocked. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so we're, we're making, well, I'm making a fan shroud for this fucking thing because he has to run this gay fucking, I don't know what it is. It's like Steel 19 fucking, fucking 20, like, fan they fucking found in the, in the powder coat or something. So yeah, I put these uh, put these brackets on, and then uh, I'm gonna like weld these, and then we'll they'll be like a bolt, so you can remove that. So when you like take all that shit apart, you could just like be able to get the fan. <clears throat> all right, so I've been uh, getting my house cleaned up, ready to move. Um, well, get it ready to, to sell. Uh, I still need to refinish the floor. This is just uh, it's just I just mopped it kind of with that. With that uh, Swiffer wet stuff, that thing sucks because like you use like a million of them. So uh, yeah, it's not very cost effective. Just get a mop. Uh, so yeah, I, I painted this room uh, like this this like light yellow color. Uh, painted the ceiling white. I still need to paint like the I painted some of the baseboard, but uh, I still need to like paint over it and give it some caulk and stuff like that. And then right there, that was behind the radiator. You can see that vent I put in. Um, but I painted the wall, and now I just need to paint that baseboard. Um, there's the other vent right there. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint that. Um, I'm probably gonna redo the floors. I was actually thinking, I've never seen anybody do it. Uh, I know this isn't automotive related, but I'm gonna be using some automotive stuff. So when I refinish the floor, um, I'm using water-based uh, polyurethane or whatever the equivalent of that is. I don't know if that's like the oil based or whatever, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, doing that. But I have like, I got a bunch of uh, like water-based pearl um, from a paint store because it was like, uh, there it was like a year old, so they can't have it in stock anymore. So I got some of that, but I was thinking about adding, like doing like a little test sample and then adding like pearl to the poly and then my floors would be like like super glossy like that is right there, but they'd actually be like level. Um, but uh, but yeah, and then uh, then they'll have like pearl in them. So when the sun's on them, they'll just fucking like pop like a like a pearl car, a uh, car with pearl in it. But uh, yeah, I, I need to need to get everything out. Uh, this room is all the way cleaned out, which is nice. Um, I need to still replace that outlet on the floor right there. It's yellow. Uh, I replace I'm replacing them all with like white white switches and outlets so uh, they look more updated and uh, so yeah I might do that um, actually I'm, I'm probably gonna I'm definitely refinishing the floor I'm still deciding if I should do the the pearl because I have a dick load of it I have all kinds of different like shades I have like red and stuff like that but I'll probably just go with like the white pearl all right so I'm uh, about to go fill some stuff up in the container I'm gonna put a car cover on my uh, blue coupe so it uh, stays clean. I've been here the uh, indexer for my SR20, my drive carbon fiber drive shaft for my uh, my other coupe uh, with the LS1 in it. It's carbon fiber. Uh, I think I said that already. And then I have this uh, crack free dash that I don't want it to get messed up. So it's in the truck. And then I have some uh, some other stuff back there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go uh, put all this stuff in there. The office is totally cleaned out, as you saw, and uh, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to having my house uh, ready. I just have to uh, do some a little bit more painting uh, and uh, refinish the hardwood floors, and uh, it'll be good to go. And then I can build a, uh, a premium house uh, with a little bit of a little bit of land and uh, and a big, 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 big shop, so I can actually work on stuff and not have to uh, shuffle things around or uh, 